All right, g'day everyone. Matt from Panda Explores here. I haven't done this for a long time, um, and it sort of came from having a chat with a friend the other day, saying, um, do I even do this anymore? Do I do even exploring or go out anymore? And I'm like, I don't think I'd really do anymore. I don't enjoy it. Um, sort of retired from it, I guess, and moved on. But occasionally post things or find stuff that's interesting. And I'm actually at work today, which I used to do all the time, but with my, uh, new job, or I can't really say new job, I've been here for a long time now, but um, I don't get to go out as often as I used to into the country and stuff like that, but I had a bit of a special one today, which I thought was a bit interesting, I was working close by to, and it's this place here, a very unassuming old school building. Um, this actually is, um, it's, it's, it's for a team, it's for a, a club, sporting club in Australia. This used to be their headquarters and um, they've completely abandoned it now and moved on. So we'll um, have a bit of a look around today and have a look at what's left at this abandoned place. So you can sort of see some outlines up there. I was gonna give, I'll say I won't give you a hint, but we'll get into that right now. So where we are right now, we're on the grounds of La Trobe University. And this used to be the international school for the La Trobe University. Um, this actually ended up becoming the headquarters for M Melbourne City which is um, part of Manchester City um, in the A-League. And this was actually their headquarters. So this is where they trained. This is where the club did all their administration. And as you can see, oh, that was really boom and move with me. You can sort of see the outline. So it, was, it used to have Melbourne City on one side, Melbourne, um, Manchester City football on the other, and then Eddie had um, as the sponsor. So yeah, they took over this school and um, we're gonna go have a quick little look at the grounds. So um, there is people working here today. I'm trying to clean it all up because uh, it's very abandoned. So, yeah, I thought I'd uh, come back out and show you guys a little bit of this, but it's, I mean, it's gonna be well maintained as part of the actual university. So it's technically not abandoned, but um, the inspiration to come out here sort of came from looking um, at the ground. So this time last year, I actually um, was working across the road here and they were actually training for the finals series in the A-League. Um, this is what's left of the training ground. Um, it used to have, be covered in sponsorships and pristine like grass that's meant to be on the, every ground and yeah, completely butchered. I'm not gonna go too far because there's actually guys working out there. I don't wanna pest them too much, but yeah, that's, uh, that's basically all that's really out here without getting myself into too much grief, but you can see this rubberized um, grass runs actually across down there runs across the car park and then straight into the building which was like the club room so nothing too fancy um, just a bit of a brisk run around but I just thought it was interesting to uh, share and document that so um, Melbourne City have now moved down to Casey I think and started building their own grounds down there um, as part of a new training facility so don't know if their partnership is still with La Trobe or not but um, yeah they're no longer no longer here so um, we always said that it's sort of like considering how much money they had they always cheaped out and everything and yeah now they're moving on and actually building something good so yeah we'll get out of here and finish up so yeah a bit of a short one um, yeah I'm sure there'll be people complaining that I didn't do enough but uh, at the same time I'm here during the day I've got a work uniform on uh, and there's guys working out here that are just doing their job and stuff and oh, I don't want to hassle anyone um, not really in the mood for that either, but I just saw all the overgrown grass from my spot. Off my ute is that at the moment, but that's what gave me the inspiration to go up there real quick because they literally had all their sponsors across there and the ground was so nice last year. It was like um, like top tier quality pitch and it's completely turned into weeds as you would have seen. So. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more of me um, coming back out and trying to do some videos here and there, um, let me know down below. And um, might be meeting up with one of our old old channel friends soon. And um, yeah, subscribe to all, all my, the guys, with, all my mates that I guess over the years I've made on here. And might be back, might not be, I don't know. I'm not promising anything. So I'm not going to do a Jay Boston and make a return, come back eight times and uh, then disappear again. So I'm just going to post videos whenever I feel like it, if I find something interesting like this. And um, that's really it i haven't really got much backlog stuff except for one or two items that we filmed so long ago now i don't even know if they'll be relevant but try it anyway so see you next time bye